Hi, welcome back to the vlog. I was initially gonna start the vlog only uh, from Delhi or from the airport, but I just thought I would like chat to you for a second here. Um, just getting ready. I usually may not wear such a fancy outfit for the airport, but honestly, it's my birthday, so I'm like, what the hell. Um, also, I just used this Friday Feeling sunscreen in. I mean the variant is called golden hour it's so good like it's so glowy and it's called golden hour for that reason because it's glowy I feel like it'll just be so good under makeup but yeah I am now getting ready for the airport as I mentioned I'm actually so excited I've never gone to anything like this before in my life and it's like doubly cool that it's like around my birthday um that's so cool honestly so cool and for the longest time i was thinking that i want to go on a work trip this year like i was really envisioning it in my life i'm so happy that it's happening so fast <laughs> i'm using this asa beauty one i don't know guys i feel little like you know that i have this issue where i, I just have that imposter syndrome type of feeling and i can't help but feel that um in that I'm like, oh, how are people going to be dressed? Am I going to be underdressed? Will I fit in there? And not like any of that matters. Like, I mean, I totally was picked for a reason, you know? Like, why should I feel, like, why should I doubt that? I threaded my eyebrows, by the way, in the salon yesterday. Um, I vlogged the whole prep situation as well. Um, it should be up. It should have gone up last week. But yeah, um, I threaded my eyebrows for the first time in so long and why is the light <laughs> doing that? Uh, first time in so long, it's looking so good. I asked her to literally remove only the excess, don't change the shape and after every hair that she removed, I was almost like checking what she was doing. Um, but yeah, the shape is really nice. What was I saying earlier? I was saying that I totally deserve to be there. Also another reason I wanted to sh uh, talk to you now is because I really like this outfit like that I'm wearing. It's a white shirt but it's unlike anything I have. It's so dressy. I don't know why I don't buy clothes like this more often. See what I mean? This top is so flattering. I mean it's like rouge but not like extremely. I love how like loose it is. So yeah this is what I'm wearing. the hotel it's so crazy that I'm on some like um, trip like this it's so crazy <laughs> I find it so crazy um, but as much as the visuals in the vlog so far have been so smooth sailing it was not at all smooth sailing I actually had to catch a flight at 12 30 um, and I had put my straightener in my check-in suitcase and I asked the airline so many times if I can put a straightener in the check-in suitcase and four people said yes and then after that when I like reached the gate um, my departure was at 12.40 and at 12 o'clock someone calls me and is like you need to remove your portable charger from your suitcase I'm like I don't have a portable charger in my suitcase and then there was just a lot of confusion I went to some like um, passenger reconciliation area um, trying to like sort it out but there were other passengers like me who had uh, portable chargers in their suitcase well not like me because I actually didn't have one <laughs> um, yeah so they they went before me because their depa departure was earlier and like exactly when my turn came 
the contact the gate people contacted the person who was with me i was like you have to come you have to come we're shutting the gate and it was just adding so much pressure they were literally like sign this paper sign this paper leave the suitcase here and just go we'll send it in the next uh, flight and that paper literally was so ridiculous and they i don't know it's like so annoyingly like frustrating because they just want to show that they have full capacity on the flight and <laughs> they just wanted me to get on the flight and I was like uh, getting so frustrated I yelled at them because I was like stop doing this to me I never yell but I yelled at them and um, I took the paper from them I was literally about to sign it but then I was reading all of it and it was just like it was giving them permission to open my suitcase search it get rid of whatever it was and then send it in the next uh, air uh, I mean aircraft and I had to go and pick it up and I was like bro like this whole trip is based on the suitcase like I can't survive without the suitcase and then I took that sheet of paper I was walking to the gate and while I was going there I just decided that it's better to just miss the flight than leave my suitcase back because I had no control in that situation then so yeah I, st I missed my flight um, I went back to the redressal place and it was literally like a five minute job and it went by so smoothly I just spoke to the lady and I was like listen it's not a portable charger it's a hair straightener she looked at it and she was like it's fine put it back in the suitcase and she was like sending me on my merry way um, yeah so finally it all got sorted I was booked onto the next flight which was also a flight that uh, Cosmo had offered as an option so a lot of other people were also traveling on the same flight so yeah off to a great start but you know what I got something in the airport Hello, um, I just got back from the event, it was very fun, I spoke a lot, I feel like you can hear it from my voice, it was so loud so everyone was like screaming, but it was quite fun, um, I'm still feeling hungry though, I didn't really eat that much food, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna take this makeup off and go to sleep, I'm kinda tired now, and I'll see you in the morning.
had a shower and edited a video and I literally have to get ready now again. the lip to my top. I don't know if it's a perfect match but it's fine. them if it's a functioning phone I don't know if it is but this part works thank you thank you 